The morning fog yet to completely lift, so we're left with overcast skies here at Oracle Park. Today, the opener of this four-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants try to lock down their 14th consecutive win. Coming up next. Logan Webb, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, in a day and age where we don't see very many complete games, six really good innings in his last start. Next up, Douglas. He comes in today leading the National League in hitting this year. What a season this guy's having. He leads the league in on-base percent. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! So a two-run shot to left center, so a milestone here. And even 50 home runs on the year now, as the Giants have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Oh man, it's so rare to see a guy put up 50 dingers in a season, especially in recent years. Well, he just did, and it's been incredible to watch. Now into the box, Douglas. He bats here as the reigning Rookie of the Month in the National League. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball lock. Oh, look at this! He gathers the throw. Touche, sir. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go as the third baseman, Douglas. First offering. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Strike two called on the inner half, 0-2 now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Round it, round it, round it, round it. Running round hard, it, he's go. digging for second. He's around second now, and they All still right, haven't gotten to this thing. And the Giants can't ask for much more. It's a leadoff triple. Yeah, and most guys that hit for the cycle can get a single or a double but struggle with the rest. Not this guy. He's... Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Nico Horner. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Run it out, run it out, run and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And digging in is the big time power threat, Douglas. First delivery to him. Hit in the air to center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Nine to seven, the final score in this ballgame. The Giants with their 50th. Summertime by the Bay. We're at Oracle Park in San Francisco. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants have won 14 straight games so far. We'll see if they can extend that to 15 next. Kevin Gossman, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this starting pitcher right here can strike some people out. It's not easy to average a strikeout per inning, but that's... Now at the plate, Douglas, and with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. First pitch coming, here it is. He sends it out to left field, well hit. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! And there it is! One of baseball's most unattainable records has just been broken as he now holds the all-time record for the longest hitting streak. 
I can't imagine what the last couple of weeks has been like, D-Row, for this guy. Every time he goes to the ballpark, knowing that he's so close to catching Joe D, he finally does and passes the legendary Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, Dan, Maddie as well. I want to take my headset off and just stand here and let this guy soak in the moment and let it breathe real quick because I didn't think we'd ever see this. I really did not think 56 games would ever be touched, and now to watch it get broken, what a special moment. Ready to take his axe again. Douglas blasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at-bat, so there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Giants four and the Cubs nothing. Now to bat, number 43. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Here we go, boys. Drive that pitch now, eh? Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Hey, let's turn two, huh? Stepping in once again is number 66. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Stepping in, Douglas. He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hit hard towards center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. And there it is. One of baseball's most unattainable records has just been broken as he now holds the all-time record for the longest hitting streak. I can't imagine what the last couple of weeks has been like, d -Row, for this guy. Every time he goes to the ballpark, knowing that he's so close to catching Joe D, he finally does and passes the legendary Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, Dan, Matty as well. I want to take my headset off and just stand here and let this guy soak in the moment and let it breathe real quick because I didn't think we'd ever see this. I really did not think 56 games would ever be touched, and now to watch it get broken, what a special moment. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your now at the plate, hey, here is Nico Horner. He's right, 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a liner. Down to down. And that'll get Please down go. for a Make base hit. Make the turn. Him. And now, number 66. Hey, He's 0 for 2 thus hey, far in this one. Now, hey, this Get is where you go up there and you just focus on doing hey, your right job. Here. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know oh, you're oh, down oh, a oh. lot, but you have to have one quality at bat followed Got by him. another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No ABs go unnoticed right here. Like Douglas will stand in here, up. but before he does, here, let's on. take you back to nice the very game. first one inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He's set, and the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Fouled away. Come on. Let it rip right here. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your pick. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game, and that'll give San Francisco a 5 to nothing lead.
second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. So the next to bat will be Douglas. Two home runs and a double to his credit thus far. Having quite the game. First offering. Hey! Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Hits it high and deep out to center field. A ball that's carrying. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Giants leave them loaded. They lead this one, though, 5-1. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. Tonight's game comes to an end, 5-1 to one, the final score. San Francisco jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked. Time now for baseball from 24 Willie Mays Plaza and stunning Oracle Park in San Francisco. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants continue their incredible hot streak today as they attempt to secure their 16th straight win right after this. Anthony DiSclefani, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, DiSclefani, a big, tall, strapping guy. Not an overpowering guy. 93. Digging in next, Douglas. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. Here it comes. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, digging for two. And this throw gets away from him. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches. So in now for San Francisco, Douglas. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month Award. Line drive to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning. Next to stand in is Douglas. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a drive out to left center field. What dig, dig, go two, dig. Now the relay home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Next, here is Douglas. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. In there at the letters 0-1. Oh, hey, good one up there, huh? Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. A bouncer to the left side. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. Hey, I've given up trying to predict 
where this amazing streak's going to end. So I'm just going to congratulate them and say, well done. 6 nothing. the final shutout score today. The Giants put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Anthony DiSclefani earns his eighth victory of the season. Justin Steele couldn't escape. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Oracle Park in San Francisco. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants have rattled off 16 straight wins. Will they make it 17? Find out next. Alex Wood gets the start for San Francisco in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a. Digging in will be Douglas, and with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. Yeah, we got one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Aye. And he gets ahead 0-1. Dan, d -Row, the Cubs, as they take the it's field here this afternoon. Right here. They come off another loss last time out. He's and, going, in fact, going. they've dropped three of their last Aye. four. Strike taken, the throw. And it's far too late as they steal second with ease. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Line towards center field. Hayward is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Stepping up is Douglas. Number 53. Hey, let her in. What time? Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Hayward has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the hey, second no out. Eat it, eat it. Hey, no out there. So now into the box is right, Cole no, Stewart no, no. trying time. to bring in the tying run from Cole third here. Stewart. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it two, to third? Two, two. He's right there. Yeah, to Crawford for one. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. A base is loaded. Last thing you want. Next to hit, Douglas. He bats here as the reigning Rookie of the Month in the National League. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Swung on, and there it goes. It is hot. It is far. It is gone. So a two-run homer down the line in left, and he keeps it up. 53 now on the year, and it gives the Giants a 3-1 to one lead. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. Ready to take his hacks again. Douglas blasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. And that home run he hit his last time up, he isn't going to forget about any time soon. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. No balls and a strike to count. Drilled right back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a night. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nico Horner. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. 1-1 the one -one home. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Hey, I've given up trying to predict where this amazing streak's going to end. So I'm just going to congratulate them and say, well done. Six to one, the final tally today. 
The Giants used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Alex Wood wins his third of the season. Cole Stewart was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss.